Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'd like to show you how to do a fake brick wall without using joint compound. Um, we'll be using a sort of what they call a trompe l'oeil effect. It's uh, really very simple to do and very effective and the great thing about it is that um, you can paint over it again if you want to change it or you can wallpaper over it whatever you like. The other type of method where you use a joint compound is um, really good and very realistic but it is difficult to get rid of afterwards if you ever change your mind but this way it isn't so I'll show you exactly what to do. First of all you'd like to measure the wall in gaps of about nine centimeters roughly nine centimeters so you basically take it from the top to nine and then you just keep on going all the way down making a little tiny mark wherever you whenever you go down just keep on going all the way down and it doesn't have to be absolutely accurate because bricks are supposed to be a little bit rustic just keep on going all the way and uh, just keep on going till you get to the very bottom if you want you can um, do what I've done which is um, put a little piece of uh, yellow tape on the uh, measurer so it's nine centimeters from there to there and it kind of um, just makes it a little bit quicker. So once you've got your little marks on the wall then what you need to do is use a laser which is um, one of these. They look expensive but they're not. They're um, fairly cheap and uh, very very good for putting up shelves and whatever else so you always use them for things around the house very good tool to have and I just use a um, photographer's tripod so switch it on so you know where you are and then just uh, move it up or down depending and um, until you get the line going through the mark you've made on the wall and then tighten it and then what you use is this sort of uh, tape because all we need to do really is mark the area that we're going to um, um, make the uh, brick effect in. So you just need to use that as a sort of, um, as a divider basically. So what you do is you take it along the line, keep on going. If you want to do one wall, I'm going to do it around the corner. So I will show you that as well, right up to this uh, doorway here. You just keep on doing that until you finish. It's a bit um, time consuming, but it's not, it doesn't take a, that long. So you could probably do the whole wall in about 15 to 20 minutes. Of course, if you haven't got a uh, laser, then you can use um, a spirit level and just make little marks all the way along and just follow them like that. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm just gradually working my way up and down the wall. I think you get the general gist of this. So what I'll do is I'll now switch off the uh, camera and just carry on until I finished. Saves you watching me doing it at full speed. Now, as you can see, I've finished all the horizontal lines. It's time to do the vertical lines. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use the sponge that I've now cut to the shape of a small brick as a sort of template. I'm going to use it as a template to um, um, put the uh, first pieces of tape in um, so that we can have a rough estimate of how it's going to look. Because it shouldn't be too tidy. If you make it too tidy, it looks like those sort of bricks you get on the side of modern buildings and it's quite nice to have a slightly more rustic look and it's also a little bit easier and a bit quicker. So I'm going to put the first brick here, it has to go right to the edge and then I take the mark just a few, maybe half a centimetre or so away from it where I'm going to put the piece of tape in between and I just mark it with pencil there and I'll do another one underneath it and then in between I'm going to uh, put the brick roughly about here, which is sort of halfway, and do a mark on this side and a mark on this side. And then if I just get the pieces of tape and put that through there, and 
then the other one through there. And the next one through here. And one through there. Then you can see the um, brick formation taking shape. But now I use the laser. Then it makes it a little bit quicker. So I just keep on going all the way down. Every second piece, I uh, add another, another, every second layer, I should say, I add another piece of uh, tape until I get right down to the bottom. This bit's sort of quite satisfying because you can sort of see where you're going with it. And the, um, the brick kind of pattern starts to take shape already, and it's uh, very satisfying to, uh, to do it. Each bit doesn't have to be straight either. You can do it at an angle. Then just move the laser over to this one and do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to skip over to the next side so you know basically what I'm going to do. I'll, take, I'll bring the camera a little bit closer. Where you've got the half brick there and the full brick here, what you do is you take it to this side and you do the same marking here and the same marking roughly in the middle there. And you add the tape again and then use the laser again and do exactly the same technique all the way down to the bottom. Just remember do a nice rough marking all the way along right to the end then you have a place where you know the tape is going to go and then you can work your way down to the bottom. And then you have a template to move the laser along as you can see here the line is going through this one and just take it all the way down all the way up just like on the other side now that the wall has been taped we've got this great um, brick pattern which we're going to use as a guideline for the bricks um, we can now start applying the bricks themselves. First of all, we have this um, sponge which is being cut into the sort of size that I, that I want. Basically fits nicely inside the um, masking tape. And I'm going to uh, apply the paint. You can dip it straight into the, uh, to the paint. I've got the brick color here and I've also added some white and some black and I'll show you why um, afterwards. I'm going to apply this to the uh, to the wall, press it nice and firmly, and then take it around the other side as well. And you can see we have the first brick. We can add a little bit of colour, sometimes just add a bit of white or a little bit of black. Don't worry about getting uh, paint onto the tape, um, that will come off when I remove the tape. And just continue to do this. This particular one, I'm adding a little bit of um, little bit of black with the brush and a little bit of white, just to give it some, some character, I think is the best word I could use to describe it. So that all the bricks are slightly different. If you look at an old wall, often it's got like black bricks and white bricks and all sorts of uh, different colors in them. It kind of gives it some character. And just keep on applying all the way around. You can move the sponge around a little bit um, just to give it a bit more depth and you can also go over the bricks time and time again until you get the desired look. I'm applying it onto the um, sponge with, with a brush because then it gives me a little bit more control. If you dip it straight in the paint you get a little bit too much paint on the sponge and then it can um, sort of spoil it a little bit. Remember it's very important not to be too pedantic or too careful. Um, 
if it's a little bit skewed and some of the bricks are a little bit uneven, that kind of gives it more, more life. As you can see, it's now starting to uh, come together. It takes a while to, uh, to finish it, but it's um, quite satisfying. So I'll just continue in silence now until I've finished the whole wall. Probably speed it up a little bit as well. If you have a lot of paint on the sponge, you can use it for um, two or three bricks. Just make sure they're not next to each other, sort of spread it out a little bit. This is the sort of thing your children could help you do. It's uh, nice and messy. As long as you cover the floor up, you could have great fun doing this together. Or add your own bricks. Make your own mark on it. Now that we've finished the bricks, it's time to uh, remove the tape. There's nothing particularly satisfying about doing this, unlike the one with the um, joint compound, but it has to be done. And as you can see, now the bricks are looking a little bit more clean, more clean cut. Doesn't take very long to do. Now, I apologize for the close-up of my face, but what I'm gonna show you is the most important bit, the special bit. Um, I've decided to do a close-up so you can see what I'm really doing in detail. What we have is we have the light source coming from the window. So now we do the shading, which is what makes the um, bricks look three-dimensional. It's very simple and it's very effective. And it's sort of kind of a trick of the eye thing, like trompe l'oeil, but a very, uh, very basic form of it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what to do um, and then I'm going to do the whole thing and you can see how the whole thing looks but for this part it's nice to have it close up just here on this side so that we can see that it's got some sort of shade it gives it a nice 3d kind of effect and then of course along the bottom as well and you can go along with the pattern yeah, gives it a nice rustic kind of look And then you get the um, white and you catch the reflection of the light and also take it along the top. You don't have to be too careful because it gives it a nice rustic thing. There you go. If you want to make the bricks look a bit thicker, you can do the line a little bit thicker as long as you follow the light source. That's what really matters. You can of course do all the black ones first and then all the white ones afterwards or you can do it i'm only doing it like this so i can give you an an idea of what it'll look like you can see it's getting a sort of 3d look about it and uh, you can see the bricks now they look a little bit more realistic than the rest of them so uh, i'll just continue to do that um, and then i'll show you the finished result So here we have the um, complete finished wall. It's um, 
completely flat as you can see so if you don't like it after a few years you can paint over it it's got no joint compound at all it's a sort of ploy effect i hope you find it effective and have a go at home thank you very much for watching